guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. You know, following up on the other dating debacles that are going on right now, which is really a, a lot of fun watching the tides turn as all these entitled 20-somethings are slowly turning into entitled 30-somethings. It's not turning out too well for them. Men are boycotting single moms and they're kind of boycotting dating in general. They've had enough. It's like a job interview. And the, the casual days of hooking up with women for many of these women is, is, coming, is, is coming to an end because they're saying, I'm done with the fun and games and now you need to step it up. And the men are like, no, single mom, you're argumentative. It's like a job interview. I'm not having fun anymore and I don't want to settle down. And this has kind of been my, my three-part series almost, you could say, in my three videos that I'm uploading because they all have this amazing connection to each other, even though they're all different stories. Young men reveal why so many of them are single. Dates feel more like job interviews. They say here, uh, they were talking to a, a couple of young men. Dates feel more like job interviews now, much more like what can you do for me and where is this going? Said Ian Breslow, a 28 year old high school teacher who lives in Astoria. The getting to know you period is gone and that doesn't feel so great after coming out of isolation. He recalled a recent first date that went quite well until the woman interrogated him on their walk home. She literally asked me, would you rather our kids go to public or private school? Uh, that involves some money, followed by several more extreme questions about getting married. Now this was on a first date, guys, and she's talking about marriage and let's talk about marriage. This is common. Women, is it's party time, party time, party time. Gonna give my best years to everybody. Uh-oh, uh, I'm running out of time. I stayed out a little too late and now I'm in a hurry, and now it's a rush, and now I must find the right person. And before you know it, they don't for a couple of years, bang, angry, overweight, cat lady. Uh, he said, um, she started asking many questions about getting married. I just started responding with what I knew she would hate the most to get her to leave. <laughs> He's like, nope. Experts agree that women are certainly wanting more than ever. The overall picture is that if a woman is going to go on a date with a man, chances are it's not for a casual fling. What, what's changed? It was all the girls were only about, I just, you know, I just want to have my fun. I need space. Space being a, you know, six foot three dude from, I don't know, Northampton. Especially if the woman is kind of getting close to 30. She's thinking about the biological clock and wants to have a family. All these women that were party girls are now knocking on 30 and creeping into their 30s and they go, uh-oh, too late. But the men that grew up at the same time realize it and now the problem is a lot of these party girls are out there have either deleted 17 kids by the time they're ready to settle down and struggle to have children or they already have kids with somebody else and the guys are saying, nope, Breslow isn't looking to settle down and get married anytime soon so he'd rather have casual flings and this is him. This is a teacher that is 28 years old. We're not talking about Henry Cavill here, a, a decidedly average looking guy who makes an average looking uh, average income. And even he, he's like, nope, not gonna do it. Uh, Andrew Bruno, a 28 year old nurse from Belmore, New York says flirting in the post bug era just isn't fun as it once was. Being able to naturally approach people while out isn't like it was before. People are still much less likely to leave their groups or clicks at a bar. They're certainly less talkative and that's lowered my incentive to put myself out there. Not to mention how many times you do it wrong and you're gonna get blasted on social media. He says, that's just really isn't my style. I'm not putting myself out there. Like there's this week long prerequisite before you can think about getting involved even for casual flings. I'd rather take all that effort and put it towards my career. That, my friends, is a smart, a smart man. And like Breslow, he's in no hurry to get hitched because we don't have a timetable. I'm a 50-year-old guy. If I want to have a kid and I, and I didn't have a snip, I can have kids. I can have kids. I just have to find a woman. But my age range is like from, you know, however low you want to go up until, what, 30, 35? That's a huge window. For me, it's only 15 years for the women. For me, I could have started at, what, 16, 18, and go until I'm 70, 80, IEC Robert De Niro that I talked about before. He says, I'm also still very young. For Mike, 
25 in Queens. It's, it's social skills. You know, so these, these guys are like saying, look, this is a job interview and it's tough. And what are the women saying? What are the women saying? Women says there are so many single moms now because they're fed up. Oh, that's what it is. It's not the men choosing not to be with the single moms. It's because the single moms are fed up. What are they fed up about? That men don't want leftovers? If you ask folks about the state of dating in, in the world, most would say the dating pool has pee in it. <laughs> I would agree with that. Uh, truth be told, some people have weird expectations in relationships from financial obligations to emotional treatment. Interestingly, some folks have, de have uh, adopted a twist way of thinking that paints single women and single moms in a bad light. Oh, shocking. What, I want, what happened that, that that could possibly happen? Could it be the entitlement of single women where all of them deserve the very best? And if you're not that, she'll settle for you if you're lucky. Could it be the fact that it's a single mom that many times wasn't married and just had a fling uh, with a couple of dudes or whatever and ends up with a kid? And now she expects you to pay for it and for her and to take care of it. The, the alpha men, the strong men, the confident men, the men with something to offer, they don't take that bait. They, they, they can get better. So who do these women get? They get the dregs. They get the thirsty guys that are willing to put up with crap just to feel lucky enough to be a woman. Well, those aren't the, those aren't the men women want, you jerks. <laughs> As a result, one TikTok user decided to take action. In a 46-second clip, a woman rants against men uh, on TikTok, highlighting why women are choosing singlehood. And to be honest, she makes a few points. Here's the 411. Uh, Hugh Chile in, 30, uh, in a January 31, 2023 TikTok post, creator, creator Hey Rayla voiced her opinion on why single women and moms have decided to remain partner-free. Do you know what that sounds like to me? That's like standing at a dance, like you're a woman standing at a dance and you're waiting for somebody to come over and ask you to dance and you stand and wait and wait and wait. No one comes over to ask you to dance and you stomp your foot and you go, meh, I didn't want to dance anyway. And then you leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, whatever makes you feel better at night. The woman started by asking questions ranging from why the divorce rate is so high, women, to why women's, uh, women of various ages are not in relationships. Women. Uh, as the video continues, Rayla said that the answer is very simple. Women. She, no, she says, women are not accepting the bare minimum. There you go. And what's the bare minimum to them? You only make $60,000. You're only 5'9 or 5'10. Oh, you're bald? You don't have a thick, dark head of hair? Oh, you're only hung, I don't know, four or five inches, not the six, seven, eight like I want. I'm not accepting the bare minimum. To women, if you're an 80 percenter of a man, you're the bare minimum. And you think I'm kidding, but statistics show this, that to most women, the average man is unattractive and the attractive man is average. That's, I mean, they've shown this for years now. So if you're, if you're not, you know, if you're not a 10 percenter, you're the bare minimum, she said or that's what I'm saying. Uh, she said, Rayla went on to say that many people want a partner without knowing how to be a partner. You mean like these, okay, no, this is her. I don't want to hear what she has to say. I'm going to mute it. Let's let's look at this gal. So I found the mad baby daddy's girlfriend the other day. That was fun. Is this her real voice? What is happening right now? So, baby daddy and my boyfriend are already met. Me and my I I don't. I don't know what this is. I, I'm so confused right now. But num number one, uh, she's not a classically beautiful woman. She's her. She's in a, a goofy jacket, like a winter jacket, not especially good looking. Frazzled hair, a beanie, a nose ring. And and it's not her fault. It's not her fault that uh, maybe she had acne at one point and she's got a pockmarked face. That's kind of not cool. Like, I know that's not her fault. But you know what is her fault? Having an attitude about it. Because remember, she's also a single mom. I don't know what's up with this voice. Speed is on one, one time speed. 
and my boyfriend walk into the restaurant. We see them. They're facing the door. And immediately this girl's demeanor changed. She sits back, all straight up, crosses her eyes. I don't know. I am so confused right now. I didn't, I not, is she doing a voiceover of like a popular something? Um, she's got this like, mm, like ready to fight mode face on. I was like, this is going to be fun. I'm so, I'm, guys, help me out here, please. I'm playing this now out of morbid curiosity. If she's limps, lip syncing, it is the best lip sync I've ever seen. For real. It is the best lip sync I've ever seen. Is she using a voice filter? I, so, somebody help me. So, we sit down. No introductions. Baby daddy's f***ing sweating bullets. I think that he thinks that I'm just going to sit there and expose all of the BS that he put me through to girlfriend. Honey, not my problem. Um, you can't see you're going to expose yourself. Um... I can't, I just can't. <laughs> I don't understand TikTok very well. Apparently. Who is this? Hey, Rila. Does she, is that really her voice? Oh. I can't play that because of crap music. I want to hear her talking. Here's a lovely little PSA that... Okay. No okay. Okay. <laughs> I was so freaked out. Okay, she's got a normal voice, but what was her deal on the other one? I don't know. But look, look. Look at her cheeks here, okay? You see this bump out here to the side? She doesn't have good facial symmetry. She's obviously struggled with maybe some heavy acne Here's or something else. Here's a lovely little PSA that no... But here's the th she's not also horrendous. I'm not saying like, you know, I'm not saying she's horrendous. But my point is here, honey, you're not God's gift to anybody. You're mid at best. Like, and you're a single mom. And, and just stop. And men see this and they're like, so they're so over this. Um... She says, uh, if you want to be in a relationship, please give benefit to somebody. Does that mean, like, give benefit, meaning you have to, I don't know. Uh, she said, I can, I can pay my own bills. Doesn't matter to a man. I can make my own food. Doesn't matter. Are you going to cook for him? I can raise my own kids. Definitely doesn't matter to a man because that means he has no say in the, in the parenting of the kids. So he can't even instill his values nor can he correct bad punishment usually by the children because they're her kids. I understand that you're tired at the end of the workday, and so am I. Okay, then go get them, boss girl. That's all you. Uh, Rayla continued, but guess what? Someone has to do the laundry. Someone has to make dinner. Someone has to watch the kids. If you're not going to do that with somebody, then just don't do it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. A man says, am I going to start d dating this woman so I can help her with the laundry? And so I have to make the dinner? And so I can watch the kids? And you want me to do that with you? Why? What, 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 do, you, what do you bring? Being feminine? No. Being attractive? Eh, depending. Being sweet? Being kind? Being supportive? No, you're none of those things. You're a headache. A re like a, a very mid-headache with children. What, what guy is going to sign up for this? Seriously. Rayla ended up her rants by saying women can do it themselves without a partner's help. Exactly. So so why why should I even get involved with this? Like this a guy from the outside looking in is like, "Wow, that's a whole lot of hot mess you got going on. Good luck." And out he goes. And then she's like, "Men need to step up." No, no, men are stepping out. Men are stepping out. She captioned the video, I don't need another adult child to raise. Go back to your mom's basement. And so what did the men do? They did. They walked right away. 
A lot of folks don't understand that relationships come with give and take. Yes, she gives you an STI and time with her child and she takes your money. <laughs> it has long been said that the gender was a huge reason, that gender was a huge reason why the dating world is in the state that it's in. However, that's only part of the problem. Truth be told, a lot of what Rayla said in her video is accurate. Some people do not know how to be effective partners. Uh, you mean like the mom of one? Just because your partner can run a household doesn't mean that the other partner gets to slack. I'm pretty sure you're not dating an unemployed loser. Who, who's got the easier job? Who's really got the better job? The mom staying home doing some laundry, maybe cooking some dinner, keeping the place tidy while he's out you know, making the money, busting his hump, bringing home the bills, and she gets to stay home with the kids probably plop them down in front of the TV to watch some SpongeBob while she does some errands and gets to hang out with her kids all day while he, maybe he's off, you know, in 100 degree weather, uh, laying down some roofing. Ask that dude, hey, would you rather be in an air-conditioned home playing with your kids and maybe doing a little bit of laundry and cooking? Be like, hell yeah. This is what people do not understand. Not to mention it would be helpful if folks understood whether or not they want to be in a traditional or modern relationship. Traditional relationships don't exist anymore because when a woman does that, the feminists make fun of them and call her a loser for taking care of her man and not going and getting her bag. Based on what Rayla described, she is partial to a modern relationship where both partners split responsibilities ranging from childcare to maintaining the home. Okay, again, what it, what's, so what does a man get out of that? As a single man, I have to clean and do my dishes and cook my food. I walk my dog. I might go mow the lawn when I head home. I might repair something on the house. I might tinker on the car. I get things done. What are you bringing? Because if you show up, a lot of times, it's now I'm mowing the lawn and cooking for two and cleaning for th because a lot of women don't pull their weight. And, and if you end up both splitting the work evenly, there is literally no benefit for man other than saying now, there's also a woman in my life, so I have to make more money. I'm doing the same amount of chores as before. I have to make more money to support more people for this lady and her kid. On top of that, she treats me like garbage, and I'm lucky if I get laid twice a week. And then you're going to ask the guy, come on, step up, step up. They say on the flip side, a traditional relationship consists of one partner being the leader of a home regarding finances while the other takes on the household and children, right? But women don't want that. Or women want to be the one leading, the leader of the house. Unfortunately, some men may not know what they want. Oh, it's, it's the men. You know, we managed to operate for thousands and thousands of years with men in charge of things and things seem to work out pretty damn good. Only since this fourth wave crap has everything started falling apart, including birth rates, women's happiness levels, um, you know, families? Gee, what changed? It must be the men that changed. How, isn't that crazy? Um, so, so men don't know what they want, which causes a divide. Not to mention, some men say they want a specific type of relationship, but are unable to bring the right tools and understanding to the table. And what, th what that basically probably means is men, men want a traditional relationship, but they're not bringing home enough money to make her happy. Or, or maybe they're not bringing enough home, period, because of inflation and the cost of living. Romantic relationships, romantic relationships can be a beautiful aspect of life if you're in a partnership with the right person. So it's best to ensure that you're with someone that fits your standards before commenting or committing, excuse me. Uh, yeah. And I can guarantee you a man that, that reads this and sees this and hears this, and, and on top of that, being interviewed and being pressured and being asked what they're gonna name their kids and on a first date, men are just like, hell, hell no, no. So men are continuing to boycott dating and they're boycotting marriage and they're boycotting single moms. They don't want anything to do with any of it. Women set up these new rules. Men are now abiding by them. And, and the players are going to play. And the guys that, are, that don't have any chance at playing, they used to take the secondhand girls. They used to take the single moms. 
Now they're saying, you know what, this is a raw deal. I'm still likely going to get divorced. And then if I ended up, you know, adopting the kid or taking the kid, now I'm on the hook for child support and alimony. Just no. And the, and the, and the biggest part, these women are insufferable. They're insufferable. They're annoying. They're entitled. They're selfish. They're boss girls. And men say, I'm not going to say yes, just knowing I'm just going to get a headache from this. I'm going to get a headache and I'm out. Um, guys, I'll leave it there. If you're here on uh, YouTube, make sure to join us on betterbachelor.locals.com. I got a couple more videos I'm going to do for supporter only there. It'll probably come up tomorrow because um, I'm, I'm going to actually talk about a bunch of uh, a bunch of crazy stories that have popped up, you know, that not like this is the way society sees everything. All, like all men are guilty. We will find a, a way to make you guilty. Whether it's over politics, whether it's over a woman, whether it's over something somebody said about you, even if you weren't there, we're going to find a way to make you pay. And that's what it feels like. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this for supporters only. So please become a supporter. Join us over on betterbachelor.locals.com today. Thank you.